Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhad in which we would look at the Profitability Index or PI. What is the Profitability Index? It's a technique or an evaluation tool that's going to help you rank projects. Now, PI or Profitability Index is also known as the Benefit Cost Ratio. And every time you hear this term, some ratio, benefit cost, it means you're going to take the benefit of something divided by the cost. And we will see what does that mean. Because when you say benefit cost ratio, it means you are dividing those two figures starting with benefit. So how do we put this profitability index to use? Let's assume we are dealing with a project and we are computing its NPV. Remember, we only accept a project if NPV is positive. Simply put, when we compute NPV, now if you don't know how to compute NPV, go to my previous recording where I discuss NPV, which is a capital budgeting technique. We'll take the present value of the cash inflows minus the present value of the cash outflows. And we hope that the difference is a positive. Simply put, we have more inflows than outflows. Now, for any particular company, you could have many projects, not one, but many projects with positive NPV. The question becomes, which project to invest in. Now, if we have unlimited amount of money, unlimited amount of resources, guess what? We will invest in all projects. But obviously, that's not the case. We have scarcity. No company, no individual, no country, no anyone has unlimited amount of resources. Therefore, you have to rank your project. You have to say, I'm going to accept this one and not accept this one because I don't have enough resources. Now, having said so, let me show you how else can we determine whether a project is acceptable or not? If we take the cash inflows, divide it by the cash outflow, and the answer is greater than one, what does that mean? It's gonna we're gonna take specifically this is not only cash inflows, present value cash inflows and the present value cash outflows, since we are dealing with NPV, and we'll divide inflows by outflows, which is the benefit is the inflow, the cost is the outflow. This is what we mean by benefit cost ratio. If the project is greater than, if the project has a ratio greater than one, we accept the project. And what does that mean specifically? It means in the numerator, you have a number that's greater than the denominator. If the numerator is greater, so 10 divided by five equal to two, well, it's a greater than one. However, if we have inflows of five and outflows of 10, we're gonna get 0 0.5. 0 0.5 means less than one. Well, what, what happened if we have 10 divided by 10? it's exactly equal to one. This is equal to NPV equal to zero if that's the case because your present value cash inflows and your present value cash outflows equal to zero. This is also called, remember we talked about IRR, this will also be the rate of return that whatever rate of return we used, it's also the IRR, the internal rate of return because NPV equal to zero. Now bear in, bear in mind, this profitability index doesn't tell you how soon you would recover your money, but it's going to tell you what is the ranking of your project, which one you should take first, second, so on and so forth. Now the best way to illustrate this is to look at an example. Most likely you are watching because you are either an accounting student or a CPA candidate, and that's great. What you should do is go a step further, go to farheadlectures.com where I have additional resources, lectures, multiple choice, true, false. That's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation. It doesn't matter which course you are using. My material is aligned with that and your accounting courses. If you have not connected with me on LinkedIn, please do so. Take a look at my LinkedIn recommendation, like this recording, share it with others, connect with me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. So let's assume we have those four projects, investment proposal, A, B, C, and D. And for the sake of illustration, we only have $130,000 to invest. Which in these projects we will invest? Here, here are the outflows and inflows, and his, this is the difference, net present value. And notice the difference, 36, 37, 30, and 40. This is the MPV. Well, at first, you're going to say, well, that's easy. If I have 130,000, the reason I gave 130 is because I can either take A, B, C, or D, so I have enough money to invest. And you'd say, well, at face value, you might say, well, project D is giving me $40,000. I should, I should accept project B because that's the highest amount of money it's given me, highest amount, highest NPV amount. Well, you have to be careful because what you need to do, you need to determine what is your profitability index? You need to compute, you need to rank 
dose index. You need to rank dose index. What does that mean? It means you have to co compute the profitability ratio. And how do we compute the profitability ratio? We're going to take the inflows divided by the outflows. Obviously, now the outflow will be positive. Otherwise, this will be negative. So this is basically, so simply put, 139 is 128 divided by 92,000, not negative 92. The reason it's negative is to show you it's an outflow of cash, so you understand. But when I, when I compute this ratio, I compute this ratio and get a positive number. So for project A, my profitability index is 1.34. For project B, my profitability index 1.35. For project C, 1.40. And for project D, 1.32. Now, how do I do so? How do I do so? It means how do I use this these figures to rank the projects? The higher the profitability index, the more the higher is the ranking of the project. What does that mean? Well, if I, the highest profitability index is project C, which has given me 1.40. Now, what does that mean? It means for project C, for every dollar I invest, I'm going to get $1.40 on average. Well, this is my best project. Why? Because it's given me the highest return for my investment. Okay? So, this is why I will choose project C. So project C will be project number one. What's the next project? Will be project A because 1.39. What's the third project? Will be project B and the fourth project, project D. And notice project D, when we looked at it initially, we thought that's going to be the first one. Actually, that's the last one. So simply put, if you have 300,000, let's assume you have 300,000, where would you invest your money? Well, I can only invest basically well, if I have 300,000, let's see if I have enough money. Yes, I have enough money. If I have 300,000, I will invest first in C. So I'll take the 300,000, invest in C, and I'm, I'm left with 225. Now from this project, I made $30,000, but I still have 225,000. Then I'm going to invest in A, which is A gives me 36. I only need 92,000. I'll invest in A, so let me see, 225 minus 92, and I'm going to be left with 133, and this project will give me 36,000. Then with the 133, I'm going to invest in B, 133 minus 105, that's going to, 133, what's left, minus project C, I'm going to invest the money in 105, I'm going to be left with 28,000, there's not much I can do because I don't have a project that unless I can find something and that's going to give me 37 so that's the best use of my money sp sp splitting my money this way based on the profitability index and this is how we use the profitability index to rank projects because we don't look only at the net and the higher the MPV we have to look at how much money that we have to commit to earn that MPV. And what should you do now? The best way is to go to farhatlectures.com and work MCQs about capital budgeting, how to rank project, to understand better this concept so you will do better in your accounting course, your CPA exam, CMA exam, whatever you are studying for. Good luck, study hard, and of course, stay safe.